Hi, welcome to what's new in SolidCam. In this video, we will see what's new in SolidCam in the re in the area of HSR and HSM. I have a roughing toolpath here, which was generated with HSR in this pocket, which is approximately about 85 millimeters width. And I have used uh, a tool diameter here of uh, 52 millimeters with a corner radius of 2, 52 R2 bullnose. So naturally I'll have material left out in the corners and I would like to use a rest rough to uh, clear that area. So I have a rest rough toolpath here and I'm using a tool of diameter 10 with a corner radius 1 and I have got an option here where I have my depth of cut of 1 millimeter and tolerance of 0.1 and my offset is 0.5 millimeters. So let's calculate the toolpath. Okay, so I have a toolpath here where I get two regions and uh, in the new version of solid cam we have got an option here in edit passes where we can join gaps of regions which are more than 24 millimeters or less than 24 millimeters the regions will be joined so now I have a width of 85 so if I put a value of 100 millimeter here and calculate the toolpath you will see that both the regions now will be joined together to generate a single region of toolpath you can see that now I just got one region of toolpath no longer the tool is going to go between the two regions it's just uh, created a single region here. What it has done basically is it has joined the two the gaps between the two toolpaths of 100 millimeters or less. If the gap is 100 millimeters or less than 100 millimeters, they will be just joined to create one unified region. Let's make this again back to 24. Recalculate this to get back the original toolpath as it was. And we will see the next parameter which is the pass extension. What I can do here is I can put in a value of let's say 10 millimeters and this passes will be extended by 10 millimeters on either side of the toolpath. So that when I when the tool cuts the geometry it doesn't directly get into the area but it gets in kind of an extension. Now the extension of 10 millimeters is too much here. So it again generate a unified toolpath. Instead of that I would like to make five millimeters and let's calculate this toolpath. So you can see that the toolpath was extended five millimeters on either sides by solid cam so that it gets a nice extension and the tool can easily get into the material without directly entering into the volume straight away. Thank you very much for watching this video.